Matthew 8, 23 warns, Then Jesus got into the boat, and his disciples followed him. Suddenly a furious storm came up on the lake so that the waves swept over the boat. Furious storm. So, but Jesus was sleeping. <laughs> Everybody's panicking, but Jesus was sleeping. The disciples went and woke him, saying, Lord, save us, we're going to drown. A very natural response. And he replied, You have little faith. Why are you so afraid? He rebuked them. <laughs> Why are you have little faith? So little faith. Then he got up and rebuked the winds and the waves, and it was completely calm. These men were amazed and asked, What kind of man is this? Even the winds and waves obey him. This is no ordinary man. So, guys, Jesus is no ordinary man. The reality is, he is God man. God man. He's God and man. So, when he saw the waves, he was under complete control. He didn't even bother, he was continuously sleeping. And then the disciples were all panicking. Lord, we're going to drown. Save us, Lord, save us. Pleading for the supernatural God. And then Jesus said, you have little faith. Why are you so afraid? Then he got up, rebuked the winds and the waves and was completely calm. I'm telling you that that is God. Yep. That is not the human part, the human side of Jesus. He couldn't have done that. But that is, uh, that is a supernatural power that resides with Jesus. As God, Son of God. The mystery of God, man, dichotomy is it's definitely beyond any theologian's uh, understanding for now. But this is, he manifests that power. So, you know, what I want to get is when Jesus rebuked them, you know. Jesus replied, you of little faith, why are you so afraid? Jesus asking the obvious, you are afraid? Instead of saying, I understand, I'm going to help you. But no, he said, why are you so afraid? You are a little afraid. So he's rebuking them of not having enough faith in him. Because Jesus is in the boat. He said, I'm here. Why do you worry? What, what, why, do, why do you need to worry? Wake me up. But that's exactly what they did. Walk him up. Ask him to save them. But I guess if you go a step further, what he means is he's saying to telling the disciples, why are you so little faith? You go and tell them, <laughs> rebuke the wind and stop them in my name. You will get it done. I think that's what he's getting at. Why would we be rebuking the disciples? Why are you of little faith? Okay, so. I, I just have another thought. What happened if Jesus is not in the boat? Okay, there's one occasion Jesus was not in the boat. They were so swamped and so shaken by the waves and the storm. But guess what? Jesus is walking on the water towards them. That is the coolest thing. And they saw him walking on water, and they thought it was ghost. And then when Jesus said, "No, it's me," and then Peter said, "Lord, if it is you, let me come to you." Jesus did. Jesus said, come over. So Peter became the first and only man ever walk on water, on sea. So he started walking a few steps and then, and then what? And then he saw the waves pounding and then he, uh, he lost his faith. <laughs> and then he started to drown and he cried out and immediately Jesus stretched out his hand holding. And Jesus rebuked him again, where's your faith? Oh my gosh. Walking with the Lord, he expects you to have the faith in him perfectly. To overcome storms and all this. It's an exciting journey.